Okay, so I wanted to give you an overview of the actual hoof itself and how it works and how it functions. So basically what happens, I'll use this model and the drawing. So as the horse's foot comes down and lands, these three bones will all compress, put pressure against the plantar cushion and into the frog. As all of this compresses against an opposing force, the hoof will hit, flex outward, push blood out of the foot. As they break over, lift it up, and travel, the hoof will actually contract, so it'll suck blood in. So you're using the whole bony column and the whole structure as kind of a blood pump traction device function. So the hoof itself has a fair amount of elasticity to it. As it hits the ground, especially on a shoe, it needs to be able to flex and contract. So oftentimes you see shoes that are really small that don't allow the horse's foot to expand enough. So at that point, you'll lose a little bit of blood flow. Um, what I like to do when I pull my shoes off is uh, I like to have a really close look at them. So um, hopefully you can see in the camera, but here and here you'll see some shiny spots in the shoe. So what that is, is the horse's foot expanding and contracting as he's hitting the ground and moving. Um, one thing to keep in mind, you'll notice the shiny part doesn't go all the way to the outside. So that's telling me that I'm leaving enough width in this horse's shoe for his foot to expand and contract and function properly. Uh, blood flow is huge, flexion is huge. Um, if you lose blood flow, then you have issues. So anything that loses blood flow has issues. So just a brief example of how it works. Later on, I'll explain the elasticity, function, and flex of the foot a little further.